each year, the number of patients receiving the blood transfusions and patients requiring blood has outpaced the number of blood donors. Even though the blood supply is stored safely at the blood banks, viruses such as HIV or AIDS may contaminate the small amounts of the blood stored. Blood has many functions to our body in our life. Lacks in blood stocks and concerns about the safety of donated blood have stimulated the development of the blood substitutes. Blood substitutes or artificial blood may be helpful and come in handy at places where safe blood is inadequate or in areas where the blood supply is limited. The artificial blood is designed in order to substitute the vital function of blood which is carrying the oxygen and carbon dioxide. The blood substitutes that had been developed can also be described as oxygen carriers as it cannot cover the other vital functions of blood which are coagulation and immune defense. What is blood substitute? A blood substitute, also called as artificial blood or blood surrogate, is a product made to mimic dead blood cells. Artificial blood is designed for the sole purpose of transporting oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout the body and also provides an alternative for blood transfusion. Next, we move to the scope of blood substitute. Blood substitutes are oxygen-carrying fluids that aims to provide an alternative to the transfusion of blood. Strategies for developing such substitutes have involved the production of materials based on the naturally occurring respiratory pigment, hemoglobin, or synthetic chemically inert fluorinated liquids called perfluorochemicals. The history of blood substitute has started 150 years ago in which T. Janet Thomas has attempted the transfusions of cow's milk as blood substitute. He claimed that there is chemical similarities between milk and lymphatic cow that plays role in immune and nutritional function. He then injected the cow's milk to three dying patients and as a result, one patient survives while the other two spike. Later on, the transmission of milk from birds and humans were attempted, and in 20th century, the development of blood substitute from hemoglobin begins. The characteristics of an ideal blood substitute are should like antigenicity, eliminate or substantially reduce transmission of infection, be readily available, have a long half life should be capable of being stored at room temperature and carry a reasonable amount of oxygen. There are two types of blood substitutes which are full fluorochemical based RBC substitutes or known as PFC and hemoglobin based oxygen carrier or known as HPFC. PFC is a synthetic fluid that used as oxygen carriers. It is a colorless molecule, inert, non-toxic, and insoluble in water and alcohol. Other than that, PFC can be produced in large amounts. Meanwhile, HPOC utilizes the same oxygen-carrying protein molecule that found in blood. Since it can be stored for long periods, compatible with all blood types, not require refrigeration, so it can be used in situations where real blood is not available, such as at disaster sites, underdeveloped countries, or battle zones. Practices and application of blood substitutes. So, what is the blood can do for a patient? First, uh, the blood substitute can deliver uh, oxygen to a traumatic brain injury patient. Secondly, uh, the blood substitutes are capable of to provide uh, oxygen to a body after heavy after having a heavy blood loss, and then uh, the blood also can provide oxygen for the patient after undergoing a surgery and then the blood substitute also used in chemotherapy in order to supply more oxygen to a cancerous tissue cell uh, and then the blood substitute also can treat patients that have the blood disease such as sickle cell anemia uh, and then uh, finally the blood substitute it apply it is apply to treat patients that are having consequent hypotension and hypovolemic shock that may result to the death. 
There are a few ethical issues that may arise in relation to blood substitute. First, it lacks of informed consent since oxygen therapeutics are usually given during acute severe hemorrhagic condition in which the patient is in unconscious state. Second, it does not prioritize the better solution as blood substitutes are used in emergency rooms where the real blood is available. Third, issue on the safety of substitute process. Fourth, regarding the efficiency of blood substitutes process as there was insufficient evidence in the effectiveness of the process. Fifth, the information is withheld from the e earlier trials in which it has been speculated by experts on the risk of heart disease based on the mechanism of action of the blood substitute. And lastly, blood substitutes are said to meddling with the nature and start to cross the line. Next, we move to the Islamic input for blood substitutes. Based on Makasih Sharia, to look for treatment to heal disease is permissible in Islam. But still, there are certain requirements for the purpose of medicine. It needs to consider the protection of religion, life, progeny, mind and wealth based on al Yet, Imam al Imam Al-Ghazali rahimahullah, he has said that and the purpose of the Sharia is five, namely to preserve their religion, life, intellect, lineage and property. The need for blood substitutes has three. The first one, the risk of inadequate blood supply. Second, it is recommended if it is if it can help patients in need or in life threatening situations. Third one is prevent disease transmission such as like blood incompatible then uh, it is based on hadith that said the messenger of Allah prohibited unclean medicine from this we can see that unlawful treatment is not permissible to cure disease because it, it can only give harm back to us as the conclusion, the main function of blood substitute is to imitate the red blood cell by transporting the oxygen and carbon dioxide throughout the body. But there are some weaknesses of this blood substitute such as it cannot undergo coagulation and performing the immune function. Blood substitute is permissible in Islam but with certain conditions such as does not control the Islamic law and just for medical purpose only. Further research should be conducted in the future in order to improve the blood substitute so that many people can gain benefit from it.